welcome to Some Good News, Facebook Friends and Family Edition. I'm your host, Joy Crosander, and we posted on Facebook a post saying, give us some good news, and we got some responses. Thank you for all the responses, and we also had to fish out there a little bit, just for some extra fun. Let's get on with the good news. First come, first serve today. The first one who responded was Jen Kleehammer. Thank you for responding first. Uh, her good news was that her granddaughter, Murphy, is getting a new baby brother, Hudson. And there's so many more people who are getting new babies. Maria is getting another new baby sibling. Ronan is getting a new sibling. Uh, Oliver is getting a new sibling. Layla is getting a new sibling, and John, Tom Skinner is enjoying his time with his new, being a new grandpa. Now off to you, Grace. Thank you, Joy. That was awesome, by the way. I am your news reporter, Grace Crisander, and let's get on with my good news for you. Julia Stat got into Xavier University. This was an early acceptance and very exciting. Congratulations, Julia. Also, Kim's daughter, Leah, will be singing an opera five seniors. That is very exciting. Um, that is at her school. And no one else is doing more than two opera sings. This is pretty big for a sophomore. Um, and let's do a clip of her singing. That was wonderful. Thank you, Kim, for sharing that clip with us. Also, the Xander family, for the first time ever during COVID-19, we got our entire weekend to-do list totally checkmarked off. That was very exciting. We have never done that on the weekend before. Congratulations to us. Um, let's have a check of the weather. It's uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Thank you, Dr. Mary. Um, Joy, back to you. Thank you, Grace. Um, and more Xander news. Uh, school changes. Grace is happy to be fully remote, and other friends are happy to be back in school. Let's see. Uh, Penny and Drew are still alive, luckily. And uh, let's go on to on Xander news. We have lots of birthdays. Fiona's, the hippos, fourth birthday. Woo -woo 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 -woo. Um, let's see, lots of birthdays. Uh, we got Toby's birthday, Cooper, Courtney, Aunt Mary's great grandkid turned um, two, and he had a SpongeBob themed birthday. And, um, and also a birthday is uh, Dad Crisander. A special shout out to uh, Dad Crisander. Now, the COVID-19 vaccine uh, was given out to many of our friends and family, um, including Kin's 91-year-old dad got his vaccine on Friday. Other people include um, Angie Wade. She also got her vaccine. Um, Carolyn Ban Zitter and many, many others. Ah, uh, more good news. Maria bought tons and tons of Girl Scout cookies and is an awesome, awesome person. She helped um, Lorena and Grace achieve a lot of their goal. She does so much good with veterans and older people. She makes treats and meals, delivers visits, and sends goodies, all while dealing with her own challenges and making sure her health is taken care of, and being a wonderful advocate for others who may be dealing with similar issues. 
All right, let's get to something a little less serious. That is great. Bernie Sanders is in our SGN episode. And uh, we're glad for Bernie's uniting of our country with a lot of funny memes. There's like a Lego Bernie right here. Uh, that's a kick out of that one. Uh, Burning over the rainbow. Nice. And Calvator Burning. So many memes. So many. So. Um, there is a song that will show so many more. He can do it way better than we can. Actually, here we go. From this inauguration, first female vice president of our nation, this brilliant poet just burst on the scene. Why am I mostly obsessed with these memes? He's in Blue's Clues, in the subway, on the Delaware. There were like thousands of favorite memes that came from a in this chair. <laughs> Love that video. Also, very, very funny thing happened. Very funny story that, well, not good news for him, but good news for everyone else who sees it. Good picture of him. And, uh, so, here we go. Uh -huh. Our cat, Hans, kept eating our dog's diet food. Um, and he has gotten so fat. It is worse than anyone adding on weight during quarantine, worse than a hair cut during quarantine. He's gotten so fat that the doctor said, no more cat treat for him. And he is still eating the diet dog food. But back to you, Grace. Thank you, Joy. Um, also, my other good news for you. One day, we were just on Facebook and saw a picture of us on the We Thrive Facebook page. Um, we weren't sure what it was for, so we popped on to a live video to notice we were getting awarded for being an interactive family with We Thrive. Thank you so much, We Thrive, for that award. Um, also, we can't see each other in person, but we are so grateful to be able to see each other through technology. Messenger Kids, Facebook Messenger, Google Meets, Skype, Zoom. It's so good that we have those. And thank you to everyone who helped make that a thing. Also, we have several friends and family who have recovered from COVID. That is also very awesome. And it's also the little things, such as Mary Beth Luma was 70% off curtains. She found um, uh, some curtains that looked identical to a store right next door, but these were a lot cheaper, almost 75% off from the ones that were next door, and they were identical. Joy, back off to you. Thanks, Grace. It is just the little things, like finding a missing receipt to fix your Christmas tree. She spent the two past days cleaning out files, and lo and behold, she found the receipt. Now she can get the, re the tree fixed. Also, many people during COVID are taking time to learn something new, like cooking. Let's take a closer look. Someone who loves cooking during quarantine and is probably like the cutest little chef, Dorothy's friend, Luna, who's one. Uh, she has TikToks of her cooking. Let's look at them. <laughs> She's the cutest. <clears throat> also, Leonard, he's always putting up funnies to brighten the day and make us laugh. There are so many little clips and pictures that he brings up just to make us smile. 
And now our last but probably favorite story of 2020. It's about my godmother. Uh, we should do this one together. Um, our, my godfather, mother, mother, uh, Karen, <laughs> Aunt Aunt Karen, and Karen, Aunt Karen, um, had recently recovered. recovered from breast cancer. And, uh, with three surgeries, she is now a strong, healthy, and fully recovered woman. Thank you so much for letting me share this, Aunt Karen. Congratulations. And, uh, now, our last weather report. Uh. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Dad. And uh, that's all for some good news. Bye.